welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking the video out. It's Gordon here of G17 Collectibles. Today we're going to take a look at Timu. And if you don't know what Timu is, it's a Chinese retailer that sells a whole host of various items from clothing to jewellery and accessories to homeware, etc, uh, etc. Et but what I found is that they do sell some movie collectible related items. And we're going to take a look at some of the things I have ordered, the prices paid, and of course the quality of those items. So here we go, here are all the items in the first delivery from Timu. And it's a real mix between movie related collectibles, as well as things to help me keep the collection clean and help me display the collection better, as well as a couple of crafting items in there. Now, Timu is all free delivery and it's usually delivered my experience between one and two weeks and i'll be honest with you i was a bit skeptical because the prices on these things are really really low and unbelievable and i've ordered from places like wish before and have been somewhat disappointed in the quality of those items uh, that have been delivered and often they're a shadow of what you think you're buying from the pictures but i'm happy to report that in this case Pretty much everything that I've ordered so far has been exactly as advertised and exactly as pictured. And quite frankly, I'm blown away at just how much this stuff can be delivered at such a low cost. So we're going to take a look overall at some of the items in here. Starting with the crafting items and the modern items and then moving into the, the, the miniature handheld hoover and display stand. Then we're going to take a look at the movie collectibles and replicas and I'll be honest it's worthwhile sticking around because there are some really really good items in here so if you like the video please remember do give me a wee thumbs up it really helps encourage me and it really helps the channel out and if you're not a subscriber please do consider subscribing so here we go let's dig in let's have a look at these items from Timu so the first items I really want to concentrate on very briefly is things that <clears throat> I need and use for making stuff. So things like this cutting mat, £1.50, and it's really good quality. It's a nice thick piece of plastic with all the necessary grid lines, etc. on it. I also managed to pick up some nice wee sanding sticks, they were a pound, as well as some thicker nail file slash sanding sticks for a pound as well and a nice wee set of needle files for about £1.50. Now, quality wise, I'm sure as I use these, we may find that, yep, the quality might be less than, than, than what I was expecting, but so far so good. For an outlay of less than £5 that's on the table here, I think what I've got here is, is pretty good value. So that's the first um, section of Timu products. Let's take a look at something else before we delve into the movie props. I also found this, which is a miniature Hoover. Um, and believe it or not, it works really, really well. I think this was £6.50. There are multiple vendors on Timu um, selling these items. Um, you know, dusting your collection uh, and trying to blow dust away can be very problematic. Uh, and you don't really get you know, a duster or, you know, some kind of um, cloth into all the figures and statues and stuff to try and get rid of the dust. I thought I would give this a go. Um, it was worth a £6.50 just to even try it. And I'm actually really, really impressed. It does come with different attachments, so you can have a little brush on the end, you can pull this off. And it not only does uh, hoovering, but if you put an attachment on the back end, it becomes a blower. And... There is an attachment that comes on the back here that gives you a very, very um, thin nozzle and you can actually blow your dust away. And I'll be honest, it's reasonably powerful for what it is. I, I don't know how long the charge will last. It's obviously rechargeable through a USB cable, but I have dusted the entire collection on a full charge. It did go, do a relatively good job in picking up all that dust. And on statues and figures, I used a little funnel attachment on the back to just blow dust off. So for £6.50 and keeping your collection clean, I think that is absolutely fantastic. 
Let's move on now to something else that's uh, available on Timu, and it's things like display stands. So this in itself I'm using for, um, what I'm going to intend to use this for is for Jack Sparrow's flintlock, and I'm going to lay the pistol across like this. I think this came out about three pounds. It is um, just a, a, a standard metal display stand, but they have lots of display options. So you can get plastic acrylic display stands, you can have metal display stands, etc., etc., and all, all delivered to your door for, you know, several pounds. So I'm really impressed with this. Um, it fits the purpose that I want to achieve with it. So Timo can offer you for your collection ways in which you can display different items through things like stands, etc. Now moving on to actual collectible movie props and associated items, let's take a look at some of the things that I um, received. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this packet of 100 plastic pirate coins. But to bring one over um, here, yeah, it's a plastic coin. You might think, Gordon, what on earth are you looking for 100 plastic coins for? Well, I'm trying to build a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, display. I have a number of items which I want to try and build a display with within the cabinet, such as the Jack Sparrow flintlock, the Dead Man's chest, uh, Davy Jones's chest, and uh, the compass. And I'm going to start building upon my props and creating a, a display. Now, years ago, I did own a screen used coin from, and it was, it was resin uh, from the movie. I subsequently sold that. Another regret that I have. However, I can tell you that the stamp on this coin, and it is just a moulded piece of plastic, I can tell you that the stamp, the design of this, this coin, is pretty accurate to the screen used item that I had. And hopefully you can see this on camera a bit close. Yeah, you can tell it's plastic. It is, all the coins in this bag are finished fairly well. They've got a good, uh, nice finish on them. And I think with a little black and brown wash on them to dirty them up, I think I can make them look a bit more realistic. As I said, there's a hundred coins in this bag overall. And the cost was just about six pounds, which I think is reasonable. Um, and that's, remember that's six pounds delivered to your door. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I've got a few video series coming up on Maker Monday. This will be one of the Maker Mondays, you know, how do we get these to look a bit weathered? But although the, the coin itself is maybe slightly oversized, I think in truth, it's a very, very good um, prop. And with the right amount of weathering, I think that will work out pretty well. And I can start to lay them out, glue them all up and put them all around the, the, the display items that I've got. And it'll just enhance the display. Time will tell. So that's the pirate coins. On the same theme, I also have this little thing. And as, as small as it is, what this is, is a metal cast of Davy Jones's head portrait. And it's actually for a key ring. So what you do is you maybe put a, th a thread about a cord through there, tie a knot in the bottom, and you can then put that on your keys. Now this one was only maybe like four pounds, three, four pounds. Um, it is sculpted really well. It's got a nice, clean, sharp finish. And just as a, a wee movie collectible item on my key ring, on my car keys, I'm actually really, really impressed with that little thing. Um, you know, I think it's 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 a, it's a really nice little thing. So a wee bit of cord through there, turn it into a key ring. Bob's your uncle. We've got a Pirates of the Caribbean thing for the car keys. Now we're moving into the more exciting stuff. Let's concentrate first on some of the smaller items before we dig into the, the larger items. This is a Lord of the Rings one ring. I ordered it in size, uh, ring size eight, which is perhaps on the smaller side. Now this was a grand total of 98 pence. And if you can see that on camera, it's got quite a nice finish to it. The ring itself is a nice shape overall. It does have the elvish uh, or the tongue of Mordor uh, language for the one ring and etched into the metal work. Um, it could probably be a bit larger. It's not something that fits my finger, so I would say it's more of a hobbit size ring and that's why I ordered it in size eight. Um, it does have the writing on the 
outside as well as etched into the inside of that ring. Now for 98 pence, I really don't think you can complain overall. I think that's a fantastic little item. Uh, remember, that's 98 pence delivered to your door. Um, there are others, many others available with different writing. You can get red etching, black etching, but I just went for the kind of um, normal, uh, kind of, I guess that's kind of silver etching. Very clear. I think the writing has been etched very well. Um, you can actually make out all of the individual characters on there. I'm really hoping the camera is focusing. Uh, but yeah, for 98 pence, I really don't think you can you could argue that is a fantastic purchase in itself. On the same theme, I also ordered Arwen or Aragorn's uh, pendant brooch bracelet uh, necklace, sorry, which is the Even Star. Now this, I believe, was a grand total of one pound forty eight, and again, sceptical because the pictures look make it look one way and potentially the item that arrives might not necessarily match the quality. However, this again matches exactly what you see advertised in the picture. It's a beautiful uh, replica made of metal and you can see there is cut plastic um, pieces for the star. I think it's made extremely well. You do also receive this very fine chain and show you some of that chain. There we go. Hopefully the camera is focused on that item. But for £1.48, I'm really, really impressed with this. I think as a, a display item, one-to-one -one display item for the Lord of the Rings display, that's going to look absolutely superb uh, in the cabinet. So yeah, that's Arwen's Even Star, which is Again, fantastic for the price you pay, £1.50. Now we're going to change movies. The next one I want to show you is something related to Indiana Jones. So this is the Holy Grail. Came in a box with um, polystyrene around it. And overall, this was just shy of £10. So... <clears throat> First impressions, I'm actually really, really impressed. It's not exactly screen accurate, to be fair. It is probably slightly undersized. The finish probably needs a little bit more gold uh, and, and some weathering applied with some, some white to dull that terracotta finish down. But overall, for £10 as a display item, I am super, super impressed with this. You can see that it is made from um, some sort of uh, hard resin so it's it's got some weight to it it looks as if the overall cup has been painted with a kind of terracotta finish and then splashed with uh, red and black dots all over it and then the gold leaf type finish or the gold paint has been applied in dabs on top of the um, the overall paintwork now it does need some work, it needs some weathering, it needs maybe some more gold applied, which I'll, I'll do and I'll sit and plod away at. The inside of the cup has that nice gold finish. It is just a painted finish, it's not gold leaf or anything. But accuracy wise, there's no real paint overspill on the lip. The lip's nice and clean. There's, um, there's, there's, there's not too many faults I could pick with it for £10. I think for £10 it's a good shape. It seems to represent the on-screen prop really well. It is well finished for the, the value you're paying for it. Um, I think if you didn't have the skills to do any sort of weathering or apply any gold stuff, it still holds up as a nice little display item that you can stick in your display case. Um, but if you have, you know, for £10, you, if you wanted to attempt to put maybe a bit of a whitewash on this and some more gold, etc., you can only improve the finish of it, even if uh, even if you, you don't have much skills in making or painting, etc. So I'm really impressed with this. I think there's lots I can do with this. Personally, I'd be quite happy not to do anything with it and just stick it in the back of the display cabinet. It still represents the Holy Grail. It still looks like the on-screen prop. Of course, if you compared it side to side, it would look vastly different. But I think as a display item for just about £10, 
That is fantastic. Now we're going to move to the last item, no, second last item, sorry, which is another item related to Indiana Jones, and this time it's the Grail Diary. Now the Grail Diary was £20.50, pence. so different sellers and the prices do vary and change on Timu, but I would say anything between £20 and £21 you will get this Grail Diary. The pictures make it look as if, and I haven't as yet opened the package up, it'll make it look as if it is a full Grail Diary with all the inserts and all the paper props. Um, so I'm going to look at this just now and we'll take a closer look at the actual inside of this package. From the external package perspective, this sticker does not belong on the front of this. I was a bit concerned when it arrived that I wouldn't be able to peel that off without causing damage to the paper underneath. But as you can see, it comes off relatively quite easily. Now, it, initial impressions, this does look accurate. The stamps, the, the, uh, the postage stamps, the actual rubber stamps and the position and the address label all look accurate. It is just literally printed on the brown paper. It's not as if these have been applied on top of the brown paper, it's just printed. The string looks good. The size looks good overall. But I'm really curious to open this up and find out what looks inside. So I'm going to undo this string. Hopefully I can put it back the way it found. The way I found it. And let's take a look at the inside of this diary. So I'm not trying not to unfold it too much. Let's just take a look at what looks inside. So two things. We have the actual diary itself and a lot of paper inserts. So let's separate them out. Then we'll take a look at the diary first. So colour looks okay. Probably needs a, a bit of weather in here, there and everywhere because it's not necessarily, uh, it looks too fresh and too new. This black elastic band, it does come off, which is fine. If I open the inside, let's take a look at the, uh, the actual diary. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, it is just printed paper, but that so far is looking really, really good. Like really good. I have no idea whether these are accurate. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that most of them are. But yeah, that, that's looking fantastic. And then, do, have we got actual things on the pages? Yes, we do. So there we go. There's... Wow. Oh, yes. Is it printed all the way through? Oh. 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 Look at that. That's absolutely incredible. Fantastic. See, for the price, £20. That is absolutely amazing. All pages have been printed. Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm really chuffed with that. Let's have a look at some of the inserts and maps. So, we've got a map here. I'll not get all of this on camera, but look at that. And the paper's actually not just quite thin, it's just a normal, normal sheet of paper, but from a printing perspective, you know, that is pretty tight. Look at the, the colours, uh, the text, the lines, that's sharp. And we have another map. We have looks, what looks like in a printed report. Fantastic. Excellent. I mean, there's just, there's tons and tons and tons here. Wow. That is super impressive. There's so many inserts here, so obviously, you know, we, the Grail Diary should be packed full of these sorts of things, just inside all the pages to bulk it up. It does need some weathering and all the edges of the pages need to be weathered, etc, because it is looking too fresh, too new. But, 
What an item for £20. This was the one I was most excited about to see. And I am super impressed with that. That is absolutely fantastic. And what a prop for 20 quid. Absolutely fantastic. So, highly recommend that. If you're an Indiana Jones fan, and I think all we need to do is take a wee bit of sandpaper and rough this up a little bit, maybe put a couple of washes over the surface, take some, uh, maybe a tea bag, and we'll start working on the edges here, and we'll crinkle some of these up, etc. Put some of these inserts in. Like so. And yeah, we've got an Indiana Jones Grail Diary. So that is that is impressive. Twenty pound for that. That to me is worth every penny and then some. So that's fantastic. Yeah, really, really happy with that. Well I just want to show you one more thing. So I need to take the camera because it's already up on the wall. So let me show you that now. So the last item just to go through is this um Lord of the Rings Rohan banner. Now, if I remember correctly, I think this was um, about six or seven pounds uh, on Timu. Now, it's a fabric banner, so I've already double-sided taped it to my door. Um, very, very thin material, but generally it is, it is a fabric. It's not like a paper or anything. Size-wise, it uh, seems correct to me. The colours, the sharpness of the print, and it is just screen printed on top of this piece of material. Colour wise, uh, detail wise, it's pretty good. It's nice and sharp. And for again, for six pounds for that item, they do do other types of flags. I think there was a Gondor banner that I'd saw, etc. But for, for my purposes, uh, I think that works really, really well. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I have re received from Timu. Now there is other things on Timu that you can buy. Um, I've seen things like, um, you know, foam swords for 13, 12 pounds. You can get other display options. There are other things such as um, John Wick blood oath markers. I'll try and throw up a couple of pictures as well of other items. I can't remember off the top of my head everything that I found. But it is shipped from China. These item prices are delivered to your door. They do a whole host of other things. I mean, I've got binoculars and torches and homeware stuff and uh, you know I've, I've been ordering a lot of stuff and so far I'm very 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 impressed with the quality of absolutely everything that's arrived um, so it's worthwhile checking out you know and remember the price you see is what you pay prices do vary they do go up and down by a couple of pounds so it's worthwhile adding something to your basket and seeing how it tracks the price but overall, for one, two, three, four, five pounds for some things, you really cannot go wrong. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that's gave you something to look at, potentially gave you a bit of confidence on the quality of items from Timu. It's worthwhile checking it out and going down rabbit holes because every item you click on, you can then see all the recommendations and associated items. And take your time, go through it. It does take about a week to two weeks to arrive because it is direct from China. Um, but it's worth the wait. So thanks for checking the video out. I do hope it's informative, entertaining. Maybe you'll get a few things yourself. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you've ordered from Timu already and what your impression of the quality is, as well as if you do order something, you know, come back and let me know. Was that a right to recommend or am I completely off? Thanks for checking me out. If you do like the video and it's helped you out, I really would appreciate a wee thumbs up. Just gives me the encouragement to keep producing this content, keep doing the videos. So until next time, take care.